Alice Larnett. And I'm Cleo Gray. And this, this is your one minute recap, recap for Serial Cycle 31, 31 week one. But this was a wonderful, weird week of serials. We kicked off with Notes to a Ghost, episode three, subtitled The Unclean Spirit by Emily Schwend, directed by Jay Stoll. And we found out that that voice in your head that keeps you up all night may not be a voice at all. It might be an evil spirit lurking in the corner of your room. And then we took a trip to the town of Finders Wharf, episode one by Simon Henriques and Skylar Fox, directed by Skylar Fox, where we met a late night DJ, a burlesque dancing priest, a young man who might be a ghost, and more, and then we are left with a lot of questions. <laughs> and then in Lights Outside, episode two by Tommy Smith, directed by Dara Molina. Um, you know, Janie and Kath definitely have an evil spirit controlling them, and Gates definitely got his tongue bitten off. But hey, there was a rave. Ah, and then it was time for some sweet charity fussy dancing with a big dash of the Berliner Ensemble in Kate Molly's Cherry on Top, episode one, directed by Marina McClure. And then finally, in Intelligent People Do Dumb Shit Daily, episode six, The Penultimate, by Paul Cameron Hardy, directed by Benjamin K. Mine. Um, it's really not the right time for the gang to be making new friends at the rest stop. And Kent, we're we're ready for a show. We're ready for a showdown with Kent. And uh, if Kent wants his money back, then Yvette and Fritzy are going to need to get back Harriet's body. We're going to find out next week because it's the finale. Because coming back is Cherry on Top. Intelligent people do dumb shit daily. And notes to a ghost. And plus brand new shows by Ben Hoover and Ashley Jacobson. Tickets are on sale at movie.org and their shows Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 11 p.m. And we will see you at Serials.